Okay, in this section we're going to talk about product to sum formulas and also sum the product formulas. We'll start with the product to sum. These formulas allow you to take two trig functions, multiply it together, and allows you to write it, break it up into a sum or a difference. Primarily this has calculus applications because calculus operation might be more difficult to do uh, on something that you're multiplying and it's going to be easier to take it into either a, a sum or a difference and that's basically what these uh, formulas will do. So if you're wondering where the formulas come from it's actually pretty easy to derive these if we know what formulas to begin with. So we have to understand that this is actually when we look at this it looks like part of the formula involves sum and difference formulas and that's, that's what you're going to use uh, to derive those. So we want to start with those formulas. So I'm going to derive the second one, I got the arrow here, second one I'm going to derive. And in order to do that, I have to first begin with, I notice that this formula has sum and difference formulas in there. So I'm going to go ahead and start with those only because I see them in the actual formula itself. So I have a cosine x minus y, cosine x plus y, and I'm going to, I listed those formulas here that, that we talked about before in the section when we were uh, going over sum and difference formulas. That's where they come from. I'm going to take these and I'm going to add to them together. Now if I add them together, these are not like terms, so I have to just write them out cosine x minus y plus cosine x plus y. So that's all I can really do for these when I add them together. Now on this side, these two terms are going to drop when I add them together, and I can add these together, and these are like terms. So I have a 2 cosine x, and then I have cosine y. If I want to solve for cosine x cosine y, which is what we're trying to do here, then all you're going to do is divide the whole thing by 2, which is actually the same thing as taking one half of the whole thing. So now, this is it. This is, the, this is basically the derivation. Uh, we've shown where these come from. So basically, these are just another form of the sum and difference formulas. It's just that now we're just solving for the product. Uh, instead of for the individual sum itself. So that's basically where the formula comes from. You can drive the other ones in a similar fashion. I'm just going to show you this, this derivation only. But it's showing you again, all these can be derived from uh, basically the sum and difference formulas. So the next videos that we'll talk about here will be uh, applications on how you can use these to simplify expressions.